Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm getting ready to do an RMA, a live RMA video uh, to go over a repair a customer had. So this is going to be on the um, Zeus board. So let me go ahead and open this up real quick. And I did cut the package open, but I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, and I believe this is going to be, let me verify. Yeah, it's a new Zeus, uh, Zeus 35 amp right here. Uh, so the concern was that the board is failing. Um, it's causing the there's a motor twitch in this board uh, I'm, I'm just going to check and see if that's the case or not So let's go ahead and uh, check out what we have here and uh, And see what we got going on now We do have beta flight as you can see there's our screen for beta flight right there So we're going to be using that as well But let me get back to this real quickly and I just want to check and see what we've got working here I get the solder machine uh, fired up. I got these two guys behind me both it is 77 degrees outside and they're in um, ski hats or little what do you call those? So you remember my two flexing friends right there, the, the muscle bound guys. You want to say hi? Hi. So. Right. And they are actually watching a video on how to build drones, and they are going to be building two drones back there. Figured I might as well teach them now because, well, I waited for them to want to learn, and they didn't say anything, so now they're being forced to learn. All right, so here we go. So we're going to get this, uh, we're going to test this board out. Um, and uh, I'm just going to place it in here. By the way, if you need any of these, pieces like this uh, this plate here that, that'll hold your components uh, or any of these things like these little pieces that I've made that will hold for testing just go on the website or contact me using our contact page uh, this is great it's much easier when you do it like this um, all right so we're gonna test the first thing I was told is that there's a ticking in the motor like it's twitching um, I want to see that but here I'm gonna take a good working board this is one of my test boards that I use all right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put beta flight here and put this in the corner and we're going to check, let me move this down, and we're going to put that right there. And we're gonna check this board, all right? So here goes. I'm gonna check my board first. I'm gonna see what firmware we've got, make sure everything matches properly. Uh, so let me connect here and get going with the mouse once I see the mouse. There we go, all right? And first thing we wanna do is we're gonna to go to our CLI and we're going to do a, um, a version check and that is going to be the uh the f411 and this is a 4.1.3 i believe obviously they got newer since then so i'm going to go ahead and disconnect this one so that's the hrc f411 right uh disconnect and we're going to take this over here and we're going to come over here we're going to see what this one is let's just make sure we've got everything the same so let's go to cli and type our version here and we have the hglrc uh, uh, 4.2. Okay, so he's running 4.2. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reflash the board. Um, we do have a. Uh, huh. It's funny. We do have a black box. Uh, looks like we got some data in here. So let me go to black box real quick. See if I can pull that up here because I was told. I'm pretty sure that this thing never took off the bench. So what we want to do is we're going to go to black box. And we're going to pull the file, and I want to. Um, activate uh, mass storage mode here and I'm gonna pull this file off so I can check it out um, and so we're gonna take these let me take these copy and then I'm gonna go to documents and actually I just go to desktop and pull this off do a new folder and do a Zeus 35 black box that's black box Okay, let me save in there. All right, we'll paste these, and then this way we can wipe the board, but I can still see the black box because sometimes I like to just make sure that what I'm being told is what happened, okay? No offense to anybody, but I always have to double check, do my part to make sure that everybody's on the up and up. All right, so there we go with that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the firmware, and we're gonna flash the entire chip, erase everything, and start from scratch. So I know that we're good to go. So let's go to HDLRC, uh, HDLRC, F411, and there we go. We're gonna load that, and then we're gonna flash it. Okay, I'll take my test board off for the time being.
And then I'm gonna go grab a motor and we're gonna solder the motor onto each section and test it out. Let's grab a simple motor here, nothing big. Um, let's grab something that I can use. So let me just put the keyboard over here. Okay, let's get the motor ready. We'll go ahead and connect. All right, motor defaults. Okay. We'll use a standard motor just to test it out. But to do that, I'm going to put two screws in the base of it so that I can at least hold it without, so I can let it spin freely. So let me do that. Okay. All right, now, uh, let's have this sit here. Got our solder, our solder iron ready. Let me clean that off real quick. Okay, so now let's just tin it up and we're gonna start testing this out. I will need to get some uh, power to it, so I'm debating if I'm gonna use alligator clips or not. But let's just see what we got. Okay, so there's one. This one, three, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check and see. Um, did he, hey Sam, on that, did he happen to say which motor was twitching? Uh, I did, but it's still pulled up. Yeah, I'm a little closer. Okay, so I mean, the, the, the sorry guys. The the issue here apparently is some twitch, uh, which I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to say my my recommendation was it was not in the in the in the um, in the uh, in the frame properly. Uh, the twitch that he's talking about, in my opinion, is the same twitch that we see when we have a board that is. Um, that the, uh, the mounting is not done properly or they try to do it from the bench and it doesn't work that way. So, but insisted that it wouldn't work. So we're gonna test the motors and make sure and we'll see. So it'll be one, two, three. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take this one step further though because, because I'll tell you like this. Um, so let's try this first. Uh, actually, I need to get, I need to get the, uh, Alligator clips here so I can plug this in. <sighs> or did he give me. Um, let me see. Nope. So let me see if I can get some out. Here he goes, alligator clips. Alright. So I'm going to use the smoke stopper here. Alright. What temperature do you guys have those soldering irons at? Apparently hot because Austin's filling the bag and melted it. Mine was 200. It was on 200. It was on the lowest. Okay, so we've got this on now. Uh, we heard the chimes perfect. So let's go ahead and head over to um, BL Heli, right? And let's just see. Sorry, that's the wrong version. I apologize. I, I tend to click the wrong one every once in a while here. So click this connect. Okay, so now let's go over to here. Okay. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna clean flash these. I just wanna make sure that we're okay. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I mean, that's my kid yelling, playing a video game while I'm trying to do video. What? Is this the front or is this the back? Uh, this would be. This would be the front. Okay. Austin, tell him that this is So now I'm thinking about putting that board on here. If I can get it to fit, this would be a great idea. Let's put it on this frame, turn it, and see if we can make it work. And I think it might be able to. I'm not sure yet. It's going to be very close. But uh, when somebody says that a frame is twitching when it's flying, um, usually there's going to be a setting issue there or it's mounted on the frame weird or what have you. And the problem is, is everybody... Guys, people say the same thing, and trust me, I get it. They're like, well, look, I've been doing this a long time, and I get it every time. I've already, I, you know, I've got, I put another board on there, and it worked fine. Well, that's fine, but what, what we don't know is, you know, which board. Like, you didn't put the exact same board on there because, um, so you put a different board. Well, a different board has a different configuration. I mean, if, if, if troubleshooting things was just as easy as that, then I really wouldn't have much of a job to do. There's far more in-depth things to be looking at than that. Um, and so I try to... As much as I respect the way people try to simplify it, I also try to remind them that it's not that simple. That's why things, uh, that's why we have jobs like this. So in either case, so this is done now and we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to, uh, I'll click, I always click right anyway, just because I want to make sure he's got everything on reversed here. So let me check this out. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and flip one to normal. I'm going to write that as well. And then I'm going to disconnect. And... Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get back into BL or beta flight, and I'm gonna check to see how the motor functions. Okay, so let's go to motors, and actually let me go to configuration first. Okay, so this looks fine. We're gonna run it with one shot. I'll turn these off and get this down to four, and we'll go to two here, and we'll write this setup, save it. Okay. All right, now let me connect, reset, calibrate, go to motors. And here we go. I mean, this thing's spinning like a champ. Absolutely nothing wrong there. So let me disconnect that. And I'm gonna now move the motor to the next spot. Let me turn the power off real quick. Okay, so we'll go here. No, because to get this to like stay here. I think we were supposed to move the other thing. We had to take this top piece off and it goes down here. It goes down here? Yeah. Okay, we'll try this one now. But what nails would I use? Because there's no nails. And there's Yeah, you don't use nails to build a quad. We're not building a deck. We're not building a house. We're building a quad. We use screws. Like, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go to motors again, and now we're gonna test again. Whoops, sorry. Perfect, turn that off. I mean, the only thing that's missing right now is just calibrating. So let me just turn that off and take this, this, and this, make it around, and now we're gonna do the other side, okay? Turn it on again. No problem. Go to our last motor.
Okay, and then here goes the last motor. I mean, run smooth. There's absolutely nothing wrong. As far as this is concerned, there's nothing wrong here at all. Everything so far is working just well, okay? So um, now I'm gonna power that off and we will remove, okay, everything here and remove the motor. And the customer said there was a twitch. So we're gonna test that. And usually I won't take it this far because I really don't wanna go and spend all that time trying to test every single piece. Uh, for me, the board is working fine the way it is. There's no twitching in the motors at all, but I have this feeling that if I don't test this, I will be, I will be told that, no, you didn't fly. You had to fly it to see the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the board and let me show you here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can fit this on this frame. It'll be a good time to test it out. And I happen to, I don't know, it might be not kind of neat, although I don't think it's gonna go too well because these motor wires don't reach. But let's just see what we got in the room. I'm curious now to see if I can even fit it. And if you guys remember, this is the POB135 that I built yesterday. All right. You know what, maybe I can just see if it's even going to fit without taking it apart. So if I was to put it in this way, put it clear. Nope. Alright, so that's not going to work on this frame. So let me just find a simple frame, just so that we can kind of speed this along here. And I'll put this one back together in just a minute, because I want, I want to actually build that POB out. Let me find a frame that might work. Real quick setup. Might fit. So I could probably use this. I'm hoping if these wires are long enough, I can get, eh, I might be able to. It's gonna be a real tight fit here, some of these motors, but let's give it a shot anyway. Okay, now he has this mounted, uh, I, I'm, I guess he had it mounted upside down. Uh, well, I'm just, actually, I'm trying to figure out how he had, no, looks like, looks like be all right. All right, so let's go ahead and mount it. So he had it mounted right. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and, use the flux pen here to just get the um, everything ready there and I'm going to very quickly do this all right ready this is more of a just to kind of put more explanation to how it's supposed to work so let's see okay all right now I've got to see if I can get these to stay this is the problem so if I can, it'd be great. And if I can't, I'll have to come up with something else. It's not gonna stick, is it? Nope. Darn it. Hey, babe, you know those red and black bullet connector wires? Or they were part of the all the cables that the, we received. The JST ones? He, they're just, they're about that long, and they, at the end they have a silver tube where another piece can insert yes. into it. Do you know where those are? Yeah, they're going to be in here. Okay, I got it then. Thank um, you. What else? Okay. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yep, she's right. So, 
This is part of a new school kit that I'm working on, actually. So let me uh, let me uh, show you here. The idea was to have a plug and play style for the kids so they didn't have to worry about it too much. So I'm just going to uh, set this up here. And I mean, I'm just going to kind of quickly do this. Again, I'm, it's it really shouldn't be taking that much time, but this might actually be a good little test quad to keep. So uh, let me put this back on for now. And even though this wire is going to be way too long, um, it'll be sufficient for what I need for this test. I'm not putting any cameras or anything else under here. So this is, this is literally just a test. I'm going to try to tuck these away if I can somewhere somewhat somewhat decent of a way I guess that's not that important there we go run it like that all right so let me put this back in and so go like this and now I can solder this should be able to without too much issue so there we go One, oh, I didn't give it time to cool, I guess. Let's try it again. Great. Okay. Here we go. It's good enough for what we need for our test. Pretty much, if this can, if this doesn't fly bad with this setup, then there's definitely nothing wrong with it because this is it's a pretty interesting setup. So we go one here. that Okay, one. 
All right, then we got our last one here. Okay, now you need to take this and change out. So I this up here real quick. Okay, so we need to change this part out because it's making all this kind of go all over the place. So let me change it out with one of these. All right, he's back. Okay, put these back. And we'll use a, let's go with like a 10 ml. Through. Well, that's not going to be enough. Go like a 16 maybe. Okay, once we got this one ready, and then we can put the board on here and fasten it down, because right now, as you can see, when I solder it, it's just kind of lifting up, right? So, all right, let's take the last two off. Okay, so we're gonna put the last one on now. Should be right here, so let me put this away. These away. There we go. Alright. So there we go. So let's pop this back on. Okay. And we'll put some uh, nylon fasteners on there. Put these back on. All right, hold that down. Take three of those, three more of those. There 
go. Okay, now we'll just tuck the wires. Just put them, kind of put these away nicely around here. So we'll keep those wires like that. And then we'll go ahead and fold these ones over the same way. So like this. Try to keep it all kind of tucked neatly for testing. Can I get, a... get another zip tie in here. We should be good to go. Okay. So let's cut that off. Okay. Put our cables away now. All right. Now we can watch. I need to put in a plug here. So let me go ahead and grab something that may work. I'll get this. Uh, Get this small X two sixty setup right here with an RX RX two thirty setup. I mean with an RXSR, I believe, as the receiver, and then we can test the system fully. All right, so uh, we got power and ground. So let me go ahead and just tin this up. Okay, getting this out of the way, we'll go ahead and add the XT30 now. Some of this solder off of here. So. Sing it, Jaden, sing it. Sounds like alfalfa from our gang, huh, babe? It's funny. Oh, Darla. What? Okay, so we got our XT30 on here. Let's make sure that we can do a test here and perfect. No problems. Everything chimes properly. One of the complaints that was written about this is that they didn't chime at the same time or whatever. I mean, these are, but either way. Okay, so we've got that. And now what we're looking to do is we're looking to, man, I can't, I gotta put, I'll put another standoff on here. It's kind of weird to only have three. Let me see if I have a fourth one that matches that. Okay. Fourth standoff is, is this, is this one? Yep, there we go. Okay, now. <sighs> Actually, we need larger standoffs than that because this isn't going to work. Let me go ahead and... Let me just put this backwards, though, because I'm not going to put a camera on here. But this XT60 is going to... Get in the way, so let me go with a larger stand up because I will need to close this up and apply it. So let's see if we can go with like a uh, whatever's available here. Maybe green. Would green be tall enough to pass that up? Yep, perfect. So go ahead and do that. 
all this to test the board. That's a lot of work. Okay, there we go. But I think what I'll do is I'll keep this assembled and use it for other testing now. So it may be actually a pretty cool little thing. Same size and one short. That's not going to help me. Right. This one? Perfect. Okay. Let's put the next one. Okay, so there we go, and we should be able to now, uh, I'll set this on the side or something, I don't know. Should be able to just test it without any issue. You can put it like this and at least keep this up here then. That would work. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to turn this around just so that I can keep the, well, no, it won't look right. Hey, cut it out. Put that here, and then let's put these on. All right, so now let's just bind our receiver, okay? And to do that, uh, let me see, we are going to be at Okay, let's do this. Put the S bus here. Sorry, I know you guys can't see that, but I've got to wire this up real quick, and I would rather just do this quickly using the magnifying glass. So bear with me a second. Put a five volt here. And then we'll put our ground here. There we go. Okay. So we have our receiver on now. Hey, did you, um, hey, hey, hey. Did you bring double sided tape back? Oh, you didn't go. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. I didn't have time. No, that's fine. I can't remember. So I can do this without it. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure I don't short this thing out. this so let me go ahead and grab my receiver or my transmitter I mean uh, hey Austin hand me that first carbon fiber looking remote right there 
Thanks so much. All right. Actually, you know, take this one back. Hand me, take that one. Hand me this black one right here, the second one. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to use this uh, DX9 light. Okay. So I'm going to bind with that. Welcome to Open TX. Switch warning. Okay. And so let me go here. I'm going to just make this, uh, I'm going to select this Switch model. Morning. And let's go to menu. All right, so we are going to be using the uh, old setup here, the ACCST or the one that we use. Hey, um, guys, I got to get this video done, okay? So take it down a notch. All right, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. We're going to get this to bind. Okay, so there we go. We should see, there we go, we got the red and green right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell the radio to bind. We will hopefully see it blinking. Red's blinking. Okay, so we're good there, so let's turn this off. Let's turn it back on. Okay, now we are bound. Should see a green light here soon, hopefully. I haven't, there we go. So we are now bound and we should be able to fly this uh, but I need to set up the um, rest of it. So let me go ahead now and power it off. And let's turn it around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape. I'm going to tape the uh, or, or zip tie the receiver here. <laughs> you guys are all three on camera, so please, can we just thank you. Golly, it's crazy around this house when COVID strikes. <sighs> All right. That's my, is my, blah, blah, blah. nope. It's all right, we'll just do it like this. Usually I have some um, double-sided tape, but I'm out right now. It's gonna be delivered, but for the time being, I am just trying to make this work. So here we go. that now that's done so we can now turn this over right and I will put some you know what I'm not really worried about that part of it I'm just going to leave these oh, I guess I better run them up so I'll run these up nah. just like that okay I'm just kind of straighten them up in a little bit but right now I just want to close this up so I can at least try to Get it going. So let me put screws in now to hold it in place. It's gonna be a cool little, cool little drone maybe. Actually, once it's done, unless it, unless it does shake all over the place, and if it does, then we'll have to deal with it. But let's just get to it. All this for an RMA, cause something, I don't know. We'll see. Now, for anybody that wants to know, if you think just swapping boards is enough, it's not. And this is why I spend, see this video is 44 minutes long. I don't get paid to do this, okay? Let me make that clear. There's no money that HCLRC gives me to be doing these RMAs, all right? I do them because I like the brand, I like the company, and I like my customers. And I feel like sometimes we get customers uh, need a little bit better support than what they're getting. And then uh, sometimes I think HCLRC gets a bad rap too because there are people that just, just want to nail anybody uh, as being at fault when it's really not their fault. So uh, part of staying fresh with this hobby and making sure that I don't, uh, you know, let things pass me by is I do the RMAs. And by doing that, I get to keep up with all the new stuff that's out and I get to test all the things. And I also get to be familiar with all the many ways people try to say something's wrong when it's not, right? So it keeps me alert. So anyways, long story short is I get paid to do this. So I, when I'm doing it, and I'm putting in this much time, it's because it requires it in order to give you the right answer. All right, so now let me go ahead and put, um, 
Let me put this on here. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to heat treat a little bit of it because this is going to be permanent. So let me just take one, two, and what I'll do is I'll just bring these antennas up just a little bit, right? And just hold it right there. And then I can just heat treat that piece. And that'll hold the antenna in place pretty good. So there's one. I'll put the other one. Just like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and... So that should hold in place without a problem. And we should be able to test this now and look at our beta flight screen. All right, so let me go ahead and plug that in. Okay, turn that on, plug in, show you the beta flight screen. There we go, let's do it like that. We'll connect. No, oh, whoops, bad. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to connect, reset, calibrate. Let's go to my ports. Again. switches down and go to our modes do our arm switch there we go let's do our uh I'll put this over here so you guys can see it do our horizon switch there you go uh oh maybe i didn't have that set uh oh so let me go to let me save that real quick just to see where i'm at then what am i getting function with Mm-hmm. 
Welcome to Open TX. Okay. So let's see on our modes. We got one. I said we got two for horizon modes right there. And we'll do our fail safe. Let me see which one is going to be. Yeah, there we go. So here's fail safe right there. Okay, we're going to click save. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to our motors. Flip this in. Okay. Now what we need to do is test our motor direction. So let's go one. Motor one is spinning the wrong direction. So we need to change that one. Motor two spinning the wrong direction. Motor three spinning the wrong direction, I think. And motor four. Spinning the wrong direction. Uh, no, motor four spinning the right direction. Okay, so we're going to disconnect from here. We're going to go into our BL heli. Read the setup. One, two, and three are going to be reversed. Okay, so let's do that. One, reversed, right setup. We're going to calibrate these motors afterwards too because they're starting very high. So I'm going to show you what that means though, okay? So let me show you what the difference is. Let me click that, right setup. All right, now let me disconnect. Now check this out. This is something good to you guys to learn on, I think. I mean, it's something neat to at least show. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go to my motors now. Watch how long it takes me. Watch how long it takes the motors to kick in, right? So I'm going to go to my motors tab. I'm going to flip the switch here, and I'll tell you when they start spinning. So we're going to take this to... Oops, let me click that. Sorry, that I did. We're at, what, we're at 1073 right now, and there's no movement, okay? We're at 1118, and there's no movement, right? We're at 1137, 1144. 1150, we start seeing some ticking. Now watch. Let's disconnect, turn off the power, and check this out. So we're at 1150, right? And we start seeing ticking. Okay, so now watch. So we're going to connect. We're going to go back to motors. We're going to turn that on. Take the uh, master um, throttle all the way up and turn it on. So you hear those chimes, and then when that's done, bring it all the way back down. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the motors off. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to go to my BL Heli. I'm going to read the setup again real quick. Okay, and this time I'm going to look at the comparison. So motor one's minimum is 1012 and maximum is 2004. Motor two minimum 1012, maximum 2000. Motor three 1012, 2000. And motor four 1012, 2004. So motor four needs to be brought down. They all have the same minimum, but the maximum can only be as fast as the slowest max. The slowest max is 2000. So you have to write that one first, okay? And we're gonna to go to motor one. We're gonna bring that down to 2000. We're gonna write that next, okay? And then I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna remove this programming by TX. So let's write the setup here. And now let's see what we end up with, okay? So we're gonna disconnect. Now watch how quickly they spin up. So now I'm gonna to go to motors and I'm gonna go over here and watch this. I mean, 1040, I think we'll start seeing at 1015, like you, you can still see movement at 1027. Uh, let me see. 1015, we have the ticking that we had at 1150. And now look, 1070 is a very smooth, easy spin. And they are now all spinning the right direction. There's where calibrating comes in. It's very important, guys. If you don't do this, um, uh, you know, it, it, it's definitely a way to... Um, it's definitely a way to test your ESCs and also to make sure your motors are all functioning, uh, you know, uh, properly. Okay. So now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the um, go ahead and put the lipo uh, non-slip up here. Okay. So we're going to put this here, just like this. Okay. Yeah. There's there because there's there's Okay. Actually, you know what I could have done on the bottom made this a bottom mount. So, um, but for right now, it doesn't matter. These are small batteries. So, uh, I need to get a battery, and I need to get 
props. Uh, let's see what props we have that I can use. I know I had some, I just don't know where I put them. Time being, these are going to be hardcore, so I mean, if I could handle these, and I don't know what the largest prop is I can put on this frame, but we'll find out very quickly. Okay, so I would say that's probably it. No, it's fine. Okay, so this will be a good test right here. Um, and that being said, I don't know if this is going to fit on and tighten it even more. Yeah, of course not. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's now, now we've got the prop. So all I need is a battery. So let me go find a battery real quick. And we should be able to test this. I think this is, I don't think these are charged. Uh, and I will see very quickly what the voltage is on these. But, uh, well, you know what? This is not even an XT30. This is just getting better and better. Okay, so Let's just see. Six nine, no, it's not. That's for storage. All right, this will work. This should be fully charged. This is a 4S, though. Wasn't lucky to do that, but for the sake of testing this, why not? So we're going to test a 4S, and I'll use a, an adapter, I think. This should help me. I mean, I don't know if this is going to fit or not. This could be interesting. Uh, anything that I'm not ready for. One second. Thank you. 
Until I we do that. But we do we go back to the one we've been looking at. It's like this. We have the gym thing flash six inch either four inch. So we come here. That'll work like that, I think. We'll run it like that for the time being. Fine, whatever. Just to get this thing tested and over with. Alright, good. So let me unplug that. Let me get the, let me do this. Yeah, 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 be quiet. I think I'll just have to run it like here because I put the, put the uh, receiver right there, but I think I'll be okay. So let's try that. Okay, let's try that. Let's try this. Let's see if we can get this to stay. There we go. Okay, now, uh, one thing I did not check, which I should, is the calibration of this. I'm pretty sure it's right. I'm pretty sure we, I may, I may have checked it actually, but I wanna make sure. Let me set, reset, up, down, left, right. Okay, so I think we're good. Props look good. So we're gonna try it on camera. Uh, I'm gonna give you two cameras to watch so you can watch these, okay? Hey guys, be careful now because I'm gonna start this up and if it goes haywire, you gotta be able, you guys need to not be in the way, okay? So be careful. Okay. Check to make sure we got everything set right here. Very tight to fit it right here. It's not easy flying on a desk on this pad, but I will tell you that there is absolutely nothing wrong. Losing covering is perfect. And that's to tell you right there, look at it. It's covering perfect, guys. There's no jitters or nothing. And that's not easy to do on this screen with those props on a desk to keep in the camera. All right, so while that was a long test, I'll agree. That was a very long, that was a long way to do it. The idea was I did not believe that the flight controller was bad. And there is these jitters they talked about. There are no jitters. Okay, so sorry, there's pianos playing and everybody yapping. I apologize for all the noise, but point is at the end of the day, guys, here's the deal. Um, again, again, no, not, no disrespect to the customer, he's a good guy. I, actually, I had a video conference with him uh, prior to this on a different issue. Um, you know, 
this just helps confirm the idea that, I mean, I just threw this together, right? I mean, just have it with parts I got laying around. And to be honest with you, I'm extremely impressed with this frame, so I'm probably going to build this out too. But, you know, the thing was, hey, look, it's, it's jittery, it's shaking. And I know from history that usually it's the way it's mounted in the frame. He insisted it's not. I put another flight controller in there, had no problems. I'm like, well, you know, it's not the flight controller, okay? And everybody, you know, it's the flight controller. I want another one. I want, well, it's not. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you guys know my videos by now. You know, I mean, you know, I, when it's wrong, it's wrong. I'll call it. It's an RMA. It's no big deal. But this isn't wrong. This thing actually flies very smooth and there's no problem with it at all, okay? So I hope that helps, guys. If you have any questions, please always, you can email me using our contact page. Uh, uh, please also uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I know this video, it's an hour long. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of time there trying to find uh, uh, items. I never really know what I'm up against when I open these up, but I can tell you that this is another case where somebody insisted and they're wrong, and no offense, they're learning, but that's the thing is when you're learning, whether you wanna admit you're learning or not, you need to kinda just take a step back and say, it could be me, it might not be the equipment, all right? Uh, that's it. All right, we'll talk to you soon, guys. God bless. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it, please. And as always, be careful. Talk to you soon. Peace.